see? Who am I seeing? Fredo! Shady, my man! International Fredo! Shady, hey! Shady! <laughs> Look at my bosom friend! <laughs> Guy! Hey! Where have you been? I mean, it's over uh, like um, uh, three years, right? Yes, yes, yes. Wow! Oh, how is, is America? Fine, I thank God. When did you come back? Come back, like sit, sit, please. Um, ah! Fred! Hey, uh, my man. I used to see your pictures on the internet. Really? Every time I see you going to club, you know. Ah, you're, you're a bad guy. I'm the enjoying master. You know yeah, me, bad now. guy. You know me now. Fredo International. She do, she do. <laughs> so all you have to do now, just sit up. Let's go somewhere so you can shave out yourself. I know, I know. You understand? Uh, I can't, I can't go out, man. You know, I'm a busy man. I have work that I'm doing. Mm -hmm. And you're looking like a dead man alive. My guy, stand up for that place. Let's go somewhere so you can shave out and wash some fishes twerking on the stone. Fishes? Yes. Twerking? On the stone, you know what I mean. You understand? Some fishes, you know. I'm waiting in my car. Fred, don't keep me waiting. Fred, don't keep me waiting. Hey. Make it snappy. My man. Hey, this my, my man. This my this my own serious friend. I'm waiting for you. I'm waiting for you. This my own serious friend is back. Fred! Hey! This guy. Wait. What am I doing? Um Fred, hold on, hold on. Let me go. Over, I understand you hundred percent. You see why I'm taking my time? Marriage is not easy. It comes with the little crazy of shit. Just take a look at yourself. Fred, how do I look? <laughs> you look like a ghost. If this is what marriage is all about. Oh, but make I day my day. Listen. Everybody goes through one thing or the other in life. Okay? Not just in marriage. Even in relationship. The truth is that you just want to be alone. You don't want to mingle yourself with women. You just want to be a single man for the rest of your life. Enjoy yourself all alone. Thank you very much. You know me. But marriage comes with unnecessary responsibilities. From your family members, your wife, your mother-in-law, even your own mother. I'm not ready for that shit. Talking about my mom, she has been a major shortcoming in my house. Wait, do you still stay with your mother and your wife? She stays with me. And, and she also... I understand my mom, I understand. I know your mother. I know what she's capable of doing. Let's go clubbing tonight. Clubbing? Yes. Fred, aren't you forgetting something? What? I'm a married man. <laughs> and where is it written in the Bible that a married man can go to club? Come on, let's go to club so you can enjoy yourself. I'm not a bad friend. I'm just trying to make my friend happy. Whew. Yeah. Oh. Darling, is that you? No, it's me. I'm the one, my dear. So my husband is not yet back. He's not back yet. Did he tell you he will travel or go somewhere after work? Because his phone is still switched off. No, he didn't. Hey, where will he be? I don't know. He has changed. My husband has changed so much. Yes, I've noticed it. I've noticed the change in his behavior. Oh God. Oh, leave me alone, bro. I want to parade, bro. <laughs> oh man. All I was hearing, Dorime, Dorime, Dorime everywhere. See, my guy don't do it. Yeah. He has a light brain. Yes. Uh, Take good care of him, okay? You have nothing to be afraid of. I trust you. All right now, good night. Good night. Fred, you're a bad boy. Fred, you ordered caskets. Whoa! Dorime, Dorime, Dorime. What a night. Oh my god. What a day. Oh, Fred, Fred, please. I am not ready to go to club again. I am tired, bro. Oh, 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 Fred. Oh, 
shit, Fred. I told you. I don't want to go. I'm married. Oh. oh, Fred, Fred, let's just leave this club in tonight. Oh, my God. Fred. Oh, Fred. Fred, you're just a bad place. I know that right off the uh, What? Fred. Uh, who are you? Fred. Where did you turn to a woman? Oh, What's going on here? Fred? Oh, oh, wait, this, this is gay shit. Oh, oh, shit. Stop. Fred. Oh, God. What am I saying? Fred, you look like a woman now. I kept you company last night, courtesy of your friend Fred. Fred? Fred set me up? He did not. You were drunk, so I kept you company. And I must say, you're really good in bed. Ah! You, you, you slept with me? Eh? I did did you sleep with me? Stop behaving like a kid. We had fun. Yeah, we had fun. Listen, 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 listen. I, I'm a married man, okay? I'm a married man. You have to stop this right now, okay? Please, we didn't do anything. Hey, calm down. Please, can you just stop? Please stop. I said I'm a married man. Can't you see my ring? I'm married. You still kiss it. Oh, goodness. Can you just stop? Please. Fred! Yes, my phone. Let me go, Fred. Fred! Stop. Stop. It's okay. Fred! Chidi, what is wrong with you? Hey. What is wrong with you? You need this thing once in a lifetime. Fred, are you are you blind? Yeah. Eh? Don't you know I'm a married man? Married I'm a married man. My man. Foot. Married man, my foot. Listen. Have you asked yourself this question? Why some married men die so quickly? My man, don't allow your family to run you. You need to run your family. Men who allow their family to run them, die quickly. Make your inquiries. So are you glorifying and encouraging cheating in marriage? Is that what you're doing? Chidi, I'm not telling you to cheat on your wife. What you should avoid is getting a second wife. Do you know the problem that you don't understand me? My phone here has been switched off since last night. I cannot communicate with my wife. Who will I die when I get home? It's okay. Eh? Listen, okay, listen. Calm down, it's okay. Don't worry, I'll handle that. I'll tell you what to tell her. You handle what? Who will you handle? What, what, what am I going to tell her? I slept at. I said it's okay. Man, you do this way, you don't pass this thing. Man, once in a while, you enjoy yourself. Biko, take me to my office, okay? Let me take my car. It's okay. Please, I'm not going with you to the club again. Just take me to the office. Let me take my car. That's all. Open your car, Biko. Ah. Open this car, let me leave here. I'm disappointed in you. I'm not a sinner. You're a sinner. I will leave you. Open this car. Why is she not picking up? Why is Juju not picking up? Huh? She's still not picking up. Do I just go in there and tell Anna everything? Maybe I should go in there and tell Anna everything. I'll just keep trying. Oh, 
What are you doing here and who are you looking for? Sir? I said, who are you looking for? You're standing in front of my gate. Uh... Uh... This must be the wrong house. Leave. Can you hear me? Asking you, where exactly are you coming from? Is that the proper way to welcome your husband? You, you can't be treating me like this. I'm not a piece of trash. You left here yesterday for work. You didn't come back. You didn't even have the decency to send a text message to let me know your whereabouts. You kept me awake and worried all through the night. Well, you... if you must know, I went to see my mistress. You said she sent you a text message. How do you see when you're a blind woman? Okay, you should have sent the message to my mother. She could have read it. My friend, will you just shut up? Shut up your mouth! You're a blind woman. Do you want to be a talkative as well? Can't you just close your mouth? Chidi. Must you always talk? I'm blind, but my emotions are not blind. You can't be treating me this way. Please, just hold it there. Please. Outside there, I'll just be uh, uh, frustrated. I'll come back here instead of me to have peace. The same noise all, all, up and down. What is it? Can't the brother man rest? I, I, I still need to know where you're coming from. I still need you to tell me the truth. Where exactly are you coming from? continue to stay here. Eh? You have to go to bed. Oh? Biake na bola. Enugo. Enne. I said go to bed. You can't continue to be here. But let me wait for my husband. Let me wait for some time. I'll go. I've not even had my shower. I'll just go. Hey, staying here will not change anything. Him this night. 
please. Mama, what is it that you want to tell me? Mama, I called you so we can have this discussion because my heart aches. I'm not pleased with the way things are going in my home. I remember vividly the first day Chidi and I came to your house. You spoke to me with so much love and compassion. You told me you would do everything as a mother to make sure I enjoy my marriage and to also make sure he doesn't cheat on me. Are you saying that my son is now a cheat? Or if you know what? Mama, that's not what I'm insinuating. But you know the truth. I'm not enjoying my marriage. I wouldn't say my marriage is great right now because of the way things are going. Chidi keeps late night. He wouldn't even give me proper explanation of where he's coming from or why he would have to stay till 12 a.m. Sometimes he doesn't even come back till morning. And if I ask him, he will yell at me, shout at me, say all manner of detasteful and awful words to me. Mama, it is painful. Please, I called you because I know how much he loves and respects you. He's your son. I want you to advise him. I want you to talk to him. Please, I love him. And that's why we're in this together. And I've done everything to make sure this works. It's left for him to play his part. Advise him, Mama. Be good. Hi. Mm. First of all, I will start by telling you that you are very, very stupid. You are stupid, senseless, and useless. Mama. Yes, you are. And stop mamaring me. So, suddenly, you want me to interfere in your marriage. Eh? All of a sudden, you now need my advice. I thought your mother is your best advisor. Why then do you want me now? Your mother. Eh eh. Shut up. Shut up, dear. Hold it. So what makes you think that my son will not go after other women? Eh? Yes, it is time for him to enjoy himself. Do you know the mental pressure he goes through because of uh, the mistake he made by marrying a blind and barren woman? Eh? Imara, you don't know. Ah, you should be thankful to my son and to me also that he, he sticks with you. Other men would have divorced you long ago. Hannah, you are very, very ungrateful. Afunu Bemudi Madudu ungrateful as you are. Mama, you're the one who's ungrateful. Eh? Yes. It is you. I'm more fear. I don't want to manage, I don't want to, I want to be peaceful in my marriage. This discussion is over. Oh, where is my seat? <laughs> Have you not made up your mind to leave this house? It's none of your business. Yes, it's none of your business. Besides, you said it's all over between us. So why can't you let me be? I told you something. I said Anna is my friend. And as long as her safety is concerned, I'll keep my eyes on this house. You know what? I'm not leaving here anytime soon. So do your worst. Would you? Don't say I didn't warn you. Okay then. I'll speak to Anna. Good for you. Watch your back.
Tanya, what is wrong with you? You're crying. I've done everything I could for Chidi and his mother. I've done everything within my past to make them happy. Why are they treating me like this? Do I really deserve this? Do I? My friend, you don't deserve any of these treatments they give to you. You and I know how much you love Chidi and his family. But it, it's quite unfortunate that the, the feeling is not mutual. See, you, you deserve better. I know. The question now is... What do I do? Can you hear me? What do I do right now? I'm confused. And I think I know what you should do. She didn't came into your life with nothing. You made Chidi whatsoever he is today. Now I want you to kick him out the same way he came. Divorce Chidi. Divorce Chidi for crying out loud. Divorce him. Divorce him. I can't, I can't bear to see you like this. I can't even stand it. Um, madam. How is your wife, Dr. Chid? She's she's fine. And I will I will see you. Oh, see you. Hey! Man. It's all about choice, yeah. I traveled to Japan, I just came in last week. <laughs> Fred! Uh, my man! I called your number! I kept calling your number! I'm so sorry, I changed my number immediately I traveled. I'm sorry. <gasps> Look at you! Fredo! Oh, my Fredo! Lord! <laughs> man, I've missed you! Hi! I'm going out. Come on, enter the car, let's go and chill out. Fred, I called uh, your number! No, I changed my number. I kept calling your number! <laughs> I even saw one, one woman that looked like your mom. Hey! I'm so sorry, Dr. Anna. It's been tight for me. I barely have time for myself. She hmm? don't have to apologize. You're a very nice person, Dr. Anna. You're one person I know loves me genuinely. I consider you family. Yes. 
I almost did not know what to say. Hey, trust me. I understand you perfectly. I know what you are going through. I've accepted my fate. The most important thing is I'm beginning to learn how to do some things on my own. At least I can move around and gradually like that. I'm accepting what I can change. Who do we have here? Dr. Annie. Wow. Dr. Chibi, you're welcome. Yeah, good to see you. You came to see my wife? Yes. My beautiful wife. My love, you're back. My love. How are you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yes. hope you're good. Yes. Look at my beautiful baby. Looking good. Have you taken anything? Like drink or something? Oh, you're fine? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, what happened? Why did you leave your office this early? Oh, yes. I came to spend some quality time with my wife. That's so unusual. Oh, baby, I'm just here for you now. You know I love you so much. Mm. I've been thinking about you all day and I said, let me come and see my wife. At least spend some time with her. I love you so much, baby. I love you too. I'll be back, eh? All right, baby. Uh, Dr. Annie. Yeah, you good? Yes. All right. <laughs> uh, I love my wife so much, eh? I'll be back. Yeah. What is going on? This is strange. I've never seen my husband this excited for a very long time now. Why do you say so? Because he's happy. Look at the way he was just kissing me, mesmerizing me, you know, calling me my love and all of that. That's not him. Moreover, he came back early to spend time with him. That's so unusual. So, why the sudden change? I don't know. If I know the reason he's this excited, I promise I will do it always. Because I love my husband and I want the best for us. Really? Mm-hmm. I can't see the way we just... I love love. <laughs> really? <laughs> Fredo, my mm, man. Oh, more, don't finish me today. Oh. My brother, I never finish. Oh. Huh? Here, we we'll go another joint. Another joint? Yes, sir. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Fredo, listen. We haven't seen in years. Yes, I understand. And today, that you have seen me, don't kill me. Yeah. <laughs> don't worry. Don't kill me. <laughs> Next day, very soon, my story will change for good. Are you serious? Yes. Fredo, link me up now. I'm your guy. Link me up now. <laughs> No Show me the way me. now. You know my man. You know my man. Listen, eh? yes, this is my friend. Uh. Whose wife owns a very big hospital. Okay. Unfortunately for her, she lost her sight and handed her hospital management to her husband, my guy. Hey, that's a very sad story. Sad story for her, but a very good story for me. Eh. My friend. Because every arrangement has been made on ground to sell her hospital and two other companies. Wow. Yes. This lady must be very, very rich. Oh. A very rich woman. She's very rich. Don't worry, I'll give the fujis later. You know my man now. I'll carry her along. No Fredo! Yeah, <laughs> Fredo, Fredo! I got you today, brother. Don't worry. Dr. Annie. Yes, my dear. You said there's something you wanted to tell me. Yes, but I do not think it's really necessary anymore. It is necessary. I insist. Go on and tell me. Well, I was thinking uh, you should kind of have eyes on your husband. It's obvious he's sitting on you. Uh, but I'm not surprised. I sensed he's cheating on me because the way he's been behaving lately, a faithful man doesn't behave like that. Honestly, you do not deserve this. Your husband is... Your husband is what? Why don't you finish up the statement? Eh? Your mates are in their grandchild's house looking after their grandchildren. But no! You are here gossiping against my son. Huh? Are you not stupid? Don't you have work? Mama, please do not embarrass my guest. I beg you in the name of God. Guest? Which guest are you talking about? Dr. Anne is my guest. This old witch sitting down here gossiping against my own son in his house. How do you mean? Before I use this my Biancalized hand and grace your face, you have moved out from here. Get out, get up and get out! Mama, Mama, you're embarrassing my guest. I don't like it. Huh? I, don't, I don't like Anya, it. Anya, get out! Don't, like it. don't worry about Just it. Just peacefully move out. I'll be, okay? Talk about it. Dr. Anyway. You are still here. 
Do you want me to? Do you want me to give? Get out. Mama, I don't appreciate this. Eh? I sincerely do not appreciate it. Please, I have so much respect for you, but you're making me to lose it. Lose what? Eh? What is it that you don't appreciate? To gossip against my son, my own son, in his house? So Juliet, I came to see you because I can't go directly to Anna and start asking her these questions. <laughs> Are you in any way talking about her husband's promiscuous lifestyle? Come on, Anna is so used to it. But I don't know why she has failed to listen to me. I've told her a good number of times to file for a divorce, but she wouldn't listen. Well, that's not why I'm here. I'm here to inform you that Anna's hospital is about to be sold. What? Is that a joke or something? It's not a joke. Well, I heard from the horse's mouth. Apparently, a friend of mine who happens to be her husband's friend told me. Are you serious? Oh, God. What is wrong with Chidi? That guy is such a heartless and... Oh, my God. That guy is such a heartless soul. What is wrong with him? Anna has gone through a lot. We need to stop them. Oh, God. Who is there? Oh, Nina. Ah, you're already eating. Mm -hmm. I was looking for the food in the diner. Mm. Uh. <laughs> I took it myself. How is it? You like it? Mm -hmm. uh, thank you. Thank you. 
This is the ninth time my husband is sleeping out. It's obvious that he's truly up to something. After all, I'm now blind. What is he doing with a blind woman? I think Juliet is right after all. Chede is a beast. Blackmail. Eh? This is blackmail, right? Fine. Would you pack whatever you have here? You are leaving my house today. You are leaving this house today. I'm not leaving this house. You're talking back at me? Are you talking back at me, your boss? You slept with your boss. You slept with me. You slept with your boss. You slept with me. You saw my nakedness. You saw my own nakedness. Where's my boxers? Oh, oh, oh where's my pants? Hey, this guy has missed me. Where's my boxers? Where's my pants? Wasting time. He's coming, he's coming, he's coming. He's coming. Good morning. Good morning. Wait. Are you not the same man? This blind harlot brought home last time. Oh, bro, again. What are you doing here? What are you doing here again? Uh, I'm Alfred. Hey, what up? Oh, oh, you. I know you. Are you not the same man I saw at my gate some, some time ago? Yeah, he's my friend. I told him to come along with me. He's a friend? Yes. This man? Yes, my friend. Ah. But well, there's no time I want you to go. Okay. Uh, yeah. Ma? I want to have a word with you. Ma, that can wait when I come back. Eh? There is something I want to do. Very important. Yes, I have to go now. I thought you said he's, is he coming with us? No, 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 he's not coming with us. Okay, 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 okay. Come on, let's go. This man looks strange. Mama, I will, I'll be back. Yeah? I'll be back. You pack that side. Yeah. All right. Okay. Just look at this. This is the wages of sin. Prostitute. The only thing you know is to bring a man here. Eh? After now, you say you don't think you think you lost your sight. This is the beginning of the story. Ah, oh. they need. 
taking me to my office. Yes. Okay. Take me straight to my seat. Thank you so much, Charles. Don't, don't. Call Dr. Anne for me. Quickly. Okay. okay. Oh, Dr. Hannah. Dr. Anne. My dear, you're welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you. How are you? I'm fine, are you? Sorry. Is there something I'd like to find out from you? Is it true that my husband hasn't been coming to the office? Oh, yes, my dear. Things are falling apart here. The management is something else these days. I said I would call you on the phone, but thank God you are here. Ah. All right, thank you. There's something I would like to discuss with you, but it's a top secret. I'm on air. Are you serious? Anna has to hear this immediately. Juliet, you can't have this conversation in Anna's house. Of course. I think we'll have to go to the hospital because she should be in the office by now. Okay. Have to give me a few minutes. Let me you know, set up something. I've come to no problem. Man, mm. eh? Are you saying? Actually, she is not insane. She is pregnant. <laughs> Mama? Hmm? So you know about it? Oh yes, the pregnancy. <laughs> you got her pregnant three weeks ago after you raped her. Is that what you told her? Uh, you have about my son. I'm very proud of you. You have proven that you are. A real man for that matter. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Mama, he's so strong. <laughs> Mama, Mama, please, please, I beg you. I'm a married man, okay? Uh, I don't want anything to disturb or scatter my family. Down this useless girl. Take her to the hospital. Let her terminate this nonsense she's carrying inside her. Uh, Let her terminate it. And after that, take her to the village where you brought her from. Uh, what kind of stupid statement is that? How do you think I will support such evil? He talked about being married. Married to who? That blind brat, Mbana. You see, the child in her womb is my grandson. Mama, she has my to, grandson. She has to terminate this baby. She has to do that. Eh? Please. She has to terminate this baby. You have to terminate this baby. Terminate you have to what? terminate it. Please. And after that, you leave my house. Eh? You must leave my house. Uh -uh. She's going nowhere. She must terminate that baby. The my house. child in this womb, the child in her womb, is my grandson. My grandchild. Yes. I've waited for a long time for this. Yes. And you want me to, you want her to terminate it. Then please let us do it. Mm -hmm. ah, terminate what? Mama. From now on, we will not do anything with this. My baby has started crying. <laughs> <laughs> He's crying kicking. in the womb. He's kicking. Mama, why, why are you doing this to me? Huh? Why, why are you doing this to me? Mama, what?
Chidi! Chidi, you need to calm down. Calm down, my man. Every time, say I should calm down. Every time, calm down. Is that the only thing you have to say? Fred, do you know what I am going through in my house? My mother is now a major threat in my family. And you're telling me to calm down? Listen, this shouldn't be an issue to you. Come on, this lady is pregnant for you. Make her your second wife. And your wife is blind. Let's face the fact here. Are you out of your mind? I am not out of my mind. Listen, how long have you been married to this lady? No issues. Now you have somebody that is pregnant for you? Come on, this is an opportunity for you. So, uh, wait, Chidi, are you indirectly telling me to marry that local girl? Make her my second wife, that local useless girl? She's local, but she's pregnant for you. What about that classic one? Blind, no issues. Come on, let's face the fact here. This is an opportunity for you, my man. I'm finished. Grab it. Yeah? Listen, I can't listen. You're my best friend. Yes, yes, yes. Both of them are in your office now. I followed them. Listen, you have to notify Dr. Annie. Those men must be monitored. I, I have to leave here now. I don't want them to know I'm here. I don't want them to see me. Okay. Okay, okay. All right, thank you. If this is the last thing I'll do for Anna, I don't mind using the last drop of my blood. Fredo, I'm, I'm fine. See, Fredo, I, I can't find the papers. I can't find it. My friend, don't play pranks with me. The deal is already done. Just get the papers and they will make payment immediately. I'm not joking. I'm not playing anything. I, I told I can't find it. I don't know where it is. Okay, take it easy. Relax, relax. You will find them since you're sure you kept it there. Oh my goodness. Is it? I, I'm thinking someone must have entered my office because I kept it here and I saw it the other time. So why, why can't I see it now? Eh? Do not joke with me, Shady. I cannot be fooled at this moment. I know how much I've spent getting this deal ready. Get the papers now. Uh, they are all locked. L listen, uh, Fred, I can't lie to you, okay? I need this thing more than you. So what are you saying? Uh, uh, you have to end this call now, okay? Let me, let me answer my wife. I asked him to come with his friend. I've also called Papa. He will soon be here. You also invited your father? Yes, because I want my father to be here and witness everything. Ah. Okay. Okay. Give them the good news. The former Mekwalu. Auntie Anna, I'm pregnant for your husband. You are what? Ah-ah. Uh -uh. You had her very well. Or have you suddenly become deaf? What your daughter cannot give to my son, <laughs> she has it in her womb. You're pregnant for my husband? Yes, she is. Mama, you planned all this. I don't know why you're so cold-hearted. What have I done to you, Mama? Why are you treating me this way? Why? Uh, hey, shut up. I said shut up. Shut it, dear. Eh? Your husband raped her, and as a result, she got pregnant. Eh? And I know you know what it means. Mama, the baby is kicking. It is kicking. It is a kicking. It is kicking. And I heard it say, "Don't push me. Don't oh, push me." <laughs> Mama. Huh? Time. Yes, you are fertility. <laughs> Let me listen to the heartbeat. Mama. Mama. <laughs> Mama. 
Did you hear the baby running around? Running and kicking. He's even fucking back to death. Baby, <laughs> hey, hey, she cannot see she cannot see <laughs> <my hand. laughs> Shade, you haven't told me why your wife wants to see the baby first. I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know why she wants to see us. She just called me that I, I should come with you. I don't know. I'm, I'm just thinking what's what the matter could be. You know we don't have much time. We need these papers first. Yes, we need the papers. We need it. I need it. We need these papers. But I'm thinking something. Eh? If that useless girl that calls herself Uju finally tells my wife that she's pregnant for me, eh? I will kill her myself today. I will kill her myself. Let's just go. Let's go. What's the meaning of this? It, it, it cost all this. It cost all this. Let's go straight. I'm gonna stop blaming me. Stop blaming me about this. Bianca, how can you be this way? You were the one who brought this earthquake. This harrowed into my daughter's house to destroy her home. I said, shut up! Ha! She is not a harlot, but your daughter is. Look at her boyfriend standing close to her. Just look at how they are standing. Eh? I don't want to talk to you, Father. What is going on here? Felix, what are you doing here? I invited him here. Do you have a problem with that? So, thank you everyone. We've come to the end of the story. And it's time to know who the bad actor is and who the good actor is. And reward everyone accordingly. And just what are you talking about? What I'm talking about, my father, is that I am not blind. Hey! My face. Huh? Hey, what? Are you serious? Hey, hold sorry. on. Is this a kind of joke or something? It is not a joke. I can see you clearly. You're wearing a strap t shirt. I'm off here. She can see you. Idiot! She can see you very yeah, well. Yes, she's seeing you. Oh, no, forget. So it all started when I noticed how selfish and slimy my husband is becoming. Considering the fact that his mother never liked me. So I decided to play this prank to know if my husband is who. I thought he is. Thank you. Unfortunately for me, he's not anywhere close to the man I want to be around. I planted a camera. Mm -hmm. Yes. I saw them. <laughs> I can't even say everything I saw in this house, but I saw everything. Everything. This thing here connived with my mother-in-law to poison me. Unfortunately for them, I saw them. And I didn't eat the food. I have everything recorded, so you can't deny it. No. Felix uncovered my husband and his friend trying to sell my two companies and my hospital. I have all the evidences. Hey! The truth is, my supposed husband slept with this thing. But another truth is, she's never pregnant for him. Yeah? She will, She has never been pregnant for my husband. Okay, forgive. This thing and my wicked mother-in-law went to a doctor to get a fake result. Oh. Unfortunately and unknowingly for them, the doctor is my friend, so he called me immediately. They left his office to tell me what was going on. Oh. Are you pregnant? Oh. Huh? Are you pregnant? Oh. Probably in your dreams. So we've come to this end of the story and this is the end bit. <laughs> you will pay for every pain you've cost. I promise you. Thank God she's not pregnant. Uh, my lord. Oh, shut shut hey! up. I don't even need that. You're dirty sorry. Yes, it means nothing when the head is down. I know. It is my fault. Yes, officer, we are done. You can come in and arrest them. Uh, please, let me show them the way in. Forever, 